No sé, yo no. No, I, it was my decision. It was 100% my decision. Um, I thought it was a good idea at the time. I, I thought I had a pretty good chance of, you know, potentially being safe. But yeah, that was definitely my, my decision to, to, to make that attempt. From the first pitch to, to KK, you know, I, I knew they weren't really paying too much attention to me. So, you know, I thought I had a chance, and I knew the third baseman was pretty far away, so I knew I had some room. But no, I'd never tried before, and like I said, I was just trying to score the run, but you know, it didn't turn out that way. Yeah, so that's happened to me before. Um, I think it was I think it was Carlos Gomez in Houston, and it was the same type of situation. There were two outs, and um, you know, trying to steal a run right there. So obviously, I wasn't really anticipating it, but um, you know, I have talked with first baseman in the past, Muncie. Uh, I, I've talked with him about it as well. Just like, hey, I, I look at him originally, but you know, when I come set, I don't really see the runner. So you got to yell at me if they if they start going and. Uh, he was yelling at me, step off, step off, step off. So instinctually, I just kind of did it, and uh, it was, that was a big outforce right there. Guys in the past, uh, you know, maybe break hard, not, not necessarily try to steal, but they broke hard, so I knew what to expect when I saw him. And uh, as soon as I saw him break, I, I sprinted straight towards Kirsch and said, home, 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 and he knew what to do from there. I know Kershaw has the, um, the real high hand set, whatever he does, and I, I think Manny just felt like he had a beat on it that he could time him up. It was not a set play. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't designed. But yeah, in a, <laughs> no, in a perfect world, he's safe.